In the world of electronic warfare, there is one aircraft that stands above the rest, the EA-18G Growler. The Growler is a two-seat carrier-based electronic warfare aircraft that is based on the F-A-18F Super Hornet. Growler has more than 90% in common with the standard Super Hornet. Growler first flew on August 15, 2006. It was developed by Boeing and Northrop Grumman as a replacement for the Northrop Grumman EA-6B Prowler. Growler's development was a long and complex process. Aircraft was originally conceived in the early 1990s, but it took several years to finalize the design and secure funding. First Growler test aircraft was rolled out in 2005, and the aircraft entered production in 2007. Growler is currently in production, and as of October 2021, a total of 172 aircraft have been built. Production of the Growler is scheduled to continue until 2024. Aircraft is produced by Boeing, and the electronic warfare suite is provided by Northrop Grumman. Growler's first flight was a major milestone in the aircraft's development. The flight was successful, and it demonstrated the aircraft's capabilities. Growler has since undergone extensive testing, and it has been deployed in combat several times. The Growler's first combat mission was during Operation Odyssey Dawn, enforcing the UN no-fly zone over Libya in 2011. Five aircraft were redeployed from Iraq to support operations in Libya. Growlers were used to jam Libyan radar and communications and to suppress enemy air defenses. They also provided electronic support for other aircraft, such as fighter jets and bombers. The Growler has since been used in combat in a number of other operations, including Operation Enduring Freedom in Afghanistan, Operation Inherent Resolve in Iraq and Syria, Operation Freedom Sentinel in Afghanistan, and Operation Inherent Deterrence in Korea. Growler has more than 90% in common with the standard Super Hornet. It shares the airframe, Raytheon APG-79 Active Electronically Scanned Array Radar, and weapon systems such as the AYK-22 Stores Management System. Aircraft's dedicated airborne electronic attack equipment is mounted on a plate in the space that used to house the internal 20mm cannon and on the wingtips. Nine weapon stations remain free to provide for additional weapons or jamming pods. Growler's flight performance is similar to that of the FA-18E and 18F. This attribute enables the Growler to perform escort jamming as well as the traditional standoff jamming mission. In order to give the Growler more stable flight for the electronic warfare mission, Boeing changed the leading edge fairings and wing fold hinge fairings, and added wing fences and aileron tripper strips. These changes help to reduce the Growler's radar signature and improve its stability during high-G maneuvers. Growler's dimensions are similar to those of the FA-18F Super Hornet, from which it is derived. Growler is slightly larger than the Super Hornet, but the difference is not significant. Growler and Super Hornet have same engines and same maximum thrust. Growler is powered by two General Electric GE 400 afterburning turbofans. Each engine produces 22,000 pounds of thrust, which gives the Growler a maximum speed of Mach 1.8. Growler can carry up to 12,000 pounds of fuel, which gives it a range of 1,200 nautical miles. Aircraft can climb up to 50,000 feet. Growler has a total of nine hardpoints, with six under the wings and three under the fuselage. These hardpoints can carry a combined payload of up to 17,750 pounds. Aircraft's gun system and 20mm M61A2 cannon has been removed. In its place, a pod of electronic boxes has been installed. These boxes control the ALQ-218 radar jamming system and help to coordinate ALQ-99 jamming attacks. Removal of the gun system frees up space and weight for the electronic boxes, which are essential for the Growler's electronic warfare capabilities. Aircraft has two wingtip missile launcher rails that have been replaced with ALQ-218 detection pods. It also has six removable underwing hardpoints, which can be used to carry 480-gallon fuel tanks, ALQ-99 high-band jamming pods, or AGM-88 harm missiles. The Growler also has two multi-mode conformal fuselage stations that can carry AIM-120 AMRAAM missiles and a centerline fuselage removable hardpoint that can carry an ALQ-99 low-band jamming pod. Two wingtip ALQ-218 detection pods that provide early warning of enemy radar emissions. ALQ-99 jamming pods are the Growler's primary weapons. 
they can emit a variety of signals that can disrupt enemy radar, communications, and navigation systems. AGM-88 Harm missiles are designed to home in on enemy radar emitters. They are a very effective way to suppress enemy air defenses. AIM-120 AMRAAM missiles are air-to-air -air missiles that can be used to defend the Growler against enemy fighters. Australian EA, 18G is equipped with the AIM-9X Sidewinder missile. ALQ-99 Jammer Pod has a poor reliability record, with frequent failures of the built-in test. This has led to crews flying missions with undetected faults, which can be dangerous. ALQ-99 has also interfered with the aircraft's active electronically scanned array radar, reduced the Growler's top speed, and imposed a high workload on the two-man crew. Boeing is considering a number of potential upgrades for the EA-18G. These include replacing the ALQ-99 radar jamming pod with a more reliable and capable system, adding weapons, and replacing the satellite communications receiver. The Growler is also the initial platform for the next generation jammer, which uses active electronically scanned array technology to focus jamming power exactly where needed. Growler is also capable of performing time-sensitive strike missions by carrying AGM-154 joint standoff weapons under its wings. It can also be used for multi-sensor reconnaissance missions by carrying the ASQ-228 advanced targeting forward. Looking infrared pod on its centerline weapon station and the signal's intelligence high altitude reconnaissance pod on its left conformal weapon station. Main radar of the Growler is APG-79 active electronically scanned array radar. It has detection range against a target of one square meter is about 150 kilometers. Unofficial sources say it can track up to 200 targets simultaneously. APG-79 radar is a very powerful and versatile radar. It can be used for a variety of tasks. APG-79 radar is a key part of the Growler's electronic warfare capabilities. It allows the Growler to suppress enemy air defenses and provide electronic attack support to friendly forces. In 2008, the Australian government asked the U.S. government for permission to buy up to six EA-18G Growlers as part of an order for 24 FA-18F Super Hornets. In 2009, the Australian government announced that 12 of the 24 Super Hornets it had ordered would be wired on the production line for future conversion to EA-18G Growlers. The additional wiring would cost $35 million. In 2012, the government announced that it would proceed with the conversion, at a cost of $1.5 billion. This made the Royal Australian Air Force the only military other than the United States to operate the Growler. On May 3, 2013, the Australian government announced that it would purchase 12 new-build Growlers to supplement its existing fleet of Super Hornets. The first Growler was delivered on July 29, 2015, and the final aircraft was delivered on July 7, 2017. Australian Growlers are unique in that they are equipped with the AN-228 Advanced Targeting Forward-Looking Infrared Pod and the AIM-9X missile. The aircraft are operated by No. 6 Squadron of the Royal Australian Air Force. One of Australia's EA-18G Growlers was written off after an engine fire during an aborted takeoff in January 2018. The crew escaped unharmed, but the aircraft was severely damaged and could not be repaired. The Australian government is seeking compensation for the loss of the $125 million aircraft. 